my friends! Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. I'm Jen and today I want to talk to you about the one thing that you will learn from homesteading whether you want to or not. this space right here. This is my garden. You probably can't tell right now. But underneath that layer of crusty, hard, icy snow are rows of wood chips covering compost and soil and the home to my future food. This was the garden last year. You could see a little bit of the rows and as well as some of the trellising that I used. So why are we in the garden? The one thing you absolutely learn from homesteading, patience. <laughs> patience is something I've always struggled with. And homesteading is the perfect way to tackle this issue in my life. Hi, Basil. One of the biggest ways I've learned to be patient is to wait for spring to come to wait to be able to plant again, to wait to be able to be out in the garden and actually have something to do. I am such a doer. I want to be doing something all the time. I get bored very easily. And when the garden's not in full swing, I get a little bored. Hi, kitty. What is it? Also, I need these for seed starting. So I'm gonna bring these inside. Honestly, I didn't even know these were out here until just now. It's kind of fun. Let's see what else is out here. A sheet of ice. And another seed starting tray. Perfect. I actually wanted to start some celery today. So homesteading doesn't just teach you patience in waiting through the seasons. It also teaches you patience on waiting to take on new adventures. For example, if I could do everything right now, we would have bees, we would have a thriving orchard, we would have maybe a vineyard, a pumpkin patch, maybe one day alpacas. We would have a perimeter fence put in for the goats to be able to explore the whole property. Our barn renovation would be complete, our house would be remodeled. I mean, there's just so many things that I'd love to, to have done or just to be able to do them all right now. But that would be insane, both in cost in time and I wouldn't be able to enjoy the fulfillment of making each of those things a reality and the process that's involved and the skills that are learned. There's no way I would be able to keep up with the demands of all of those things and the knowledge that is required for them. Bees are incredibly complex and caring for them is not like as simple as reading a blog post and knowing exactly what to do. I need time, I need to dedicate time to learning that skill before adding that to the homestead. An orchard, I don't want to plant hundreds of dollars worth of trees and then watch as they don't make it past the first frost. Patience is a skill I'm learning and it's a skill that I need to practice in order to have a sustainable homestead. I think patience also teaches you, helps you focus your goals and refocus on where you're headed. If you jump into things right away without taking time to think about them, without waiting on them, sometimes you realize that that wasn't the best decision and you wish you had done things differently. Practicing patience on the homestead will really help you live according to your goals and not make decisions that you're going to regret later. For example, we almost got started on doing a barn remodel, whoops, I almost slipped, last spring. As you can see, the roof on our barn needs to be replaced. We almost started working on it last spring. And at that time, we didn't have a whole lot of money to put towards it, but we were thinking of just getting it started. That would have been a bad choice because we had a lot of other stuff to work on last spring. We didn't necessarily have the money saved or put aside for that project. And it just would have been very stressful. This year, we had time to plan. We had time to prioritize our funds. We had time to think about what we wanted the barn to be like 
like. And for example, we're going to add a dormer right there in the middle that's going to have a window that we can easily be able to load hay up into the loft through that space. If we had jumped into the project without being patient, we would have made some decisions that we can't change later. So I am really grateful that patience is something that we're developing through this homesteading life. See this area right here? One day that's going to be an orchard and we're gonna get it started this year, but it's going to take probably three to five years until we actually get anything from it. That is really hard to think about. It makes it feel like, is it even worth doing? Is it even worth spending hundreds of dollars now for something that I'm not going to be able to see any real benefit from? for many, many years. Another thing that is teaching me patience, it's going to be so rewarding in 2024, 20, when we're making applesauce from apples grown in the orchard and canning jam from berries that we planted. As much as it might seem like it's not worth it, it will be. And I'm gonna watch this video four years or five years or three years from now and remind myself of how long we waited for that. Hi dogs. Someone's got a lot of energy. Oh my gosh, this is... Another thing about patience that I think is really beautiful is how much more it makes you appreciate that thing that you're longing for or waiting for or being asked to be patient for, like these two. Hi! Hi, handsome! Hi, handsome! It's okay. Hi! Hello! Look at that soft nose he's got. I spent so long dreaming about having a horse. And I often think about what if I hadn't had to dream? What if it had been a reality my whole life? Would I even care about it now? I'm sure I'd still like horses. Hi, <laughs> you're so sweet. I'm sure I would still enjoy spending time with him, but I'm not sure that looking out the window and seeing these two horses outside would mean as much to me. I'm not sure that <laughs> it would make me so happy. <laughs> He's so sweet. Hi. I'm not sure I would experience so much joy from a giant puppy as I do. No, that was not nice. Not nice. Do not eat my sweater. My very nice alpaca sweater. He follows me everywhere, guys. He's basically a dog. Do you wanna be in the camera again? Hello. Hi. This guy's eye is doing so much better for those who might be wondering. I mean, it's pretty great, guys. If I grew up on a farm and I had it my whole life, and I never had to dream about what it would be like. I don't know. Would it be as magical? I'm not sure. I don't think so though. I have dreams about turning this back patio into a perennial herb garden with, you know, like a concrete pad in the middle with these tall raised boxes and an arch trellis leading out into the garden and you know, like, it's possible that we could do it now. If we really, really, really wanted to, we could do it now. But it would be stressful. It would get in the way of other things that require our immediate attention, like starting seeds to get ready for our spring garden and planning our barn renovation. So we need to practice patience, even though that's the thing I want, even though that's the thing I dream of, even though that's something that one day we can make happen, I need to wait, <laughs> I need to be patient. And homesteading's really just forcing me to do that in all areas of my life. Don't mind the pink walls in this room. We definitely haven't gotten to this room yet. 
but there is something in this room that is also teaching me this skill and that is incubating eggs. So we have seven eggs in the incubator right now. They're on day five, which means they have about 16 days left to go. And 21 days might not seem like a lot, but it feels like a really long time when you just can't wait for day 21 when those chicks make their way out of their shell and into the world. And then that last day when they start to pip and they start to peck those little holes and, and you're just waiting and watching and hoping they make their way out. It's so hard guys, it's really really hard to practice patience in like a period of 12 to 24 hours. You, you want to help them, you want to see them make their way out of their shell and you just have to watch and wait. And the world operates in patience, it practices timing and seasons and cycles and our human world does not operate in that same way. We want things immediately, we want to make things happen right away, we hate waiting, we hate the process, and what I love about homesteading is it reconnects us back to the way we were designed to live, the way that things happen in seasons, and that you plant a seed, and you nurture that seed, and you trust that that seed will grow into a plant, and you watch that egg, and you watch that chick develop, and you wait until it hatches, and you enjoy the whole process. You stop worrying so much about the result and you take each step in stride, enjoying what it has to offer you in that moment. And homesteading to me is really teaching me patience, guys. I mean, I cannot say that enough. It's teaching me not only the benefit of waiting on things and practicing that skill, but also to enjoy when I'm in that moment and when I'm in that place of being asked to wait. I wanna show you a couple more things in here. Look at these little baby onion seeds, guys. Nothing will teach you patience more than growing a plant from seed, especially something like artichoke that's going to be incredibly a long season, or Brussels sprouts, which I just started yesterday and might take all spring. It makes that day when you go out and you pick your first harvest from that one tiny seed that you planted months ago, so rewarding. It's, it's just not the same to buy the plant from the store. You don't get that same reward. And I think patience and the process of being patient makes the result so much more meaningful. Well friends, I don't think there's a better way to finish this video than by planting a seed and practicing the skill of patience as I wait for the seed to germinate and grow and provide food for our family. anywhere from a week to 10 days these little celery seeds are going to start to germinate and I get to practice that process of being patient all over again with a handful of seeds. I would love to hear about your experiences with practicing patience on the homestead. What's something that you just felt like you couldn't possibly wait for and then when it finally happened it was so rewarding because of that period of being asked to be patient. Thank you guys for watching this video. It's been such a joy having you along the ride. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to see more from us, please hit the subscribe button. And you can even hit the bell if you want to be alerted when we post a new video. I hope you enjoy your weekend. And I can't wait to share my next video with you.